almost perfect. We were protected so much in this estate. And um, I mean, the culture was down at the, at the gate. Dr. Leary, what are you up to here? We teach the science and art of ecstasy. We teach people how to turn on or how to go out of their minds. The uh, point is, you have to go out of your mind. You have to go out of all of the uh, static, symbolic ways in which you think, experience. People would come from all over. There were poets like Allen Ginsberg, philosophers like Huxley, Houston Smith, all kinds of musicians like Maynard Ferguson was living down in the gatehouse. It was a very creative moment. It was a creative moment in history. We were experimenting with consciousness. We were prodding the culture. I did an experiment here. Um, there were five of us, and we had a bottle of LSD, and we take LSD every for 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 weeks, for weeks. And this was an experimental unit. And um, um, we got to hate each other. Moppet was there and he, he over there, and he he's talked about it, he got quite sick. Uh, I think, I don't know how close he came to dying, but he got quite sick. And then, you know, just taking LSD doesn't, healing, you know, if you've got an infection, you've got to treat with the infection. The expanding your consciousness is not going to help you with that. After the experiences here, I saw that, uh, that going up, down, up, down, getting high, getting high, getting high, getting high, wasn't satisfying. Well, it wasn't satisfying. Going to India after the psychedelics, I came into a culture that recognized spirit. I kept contacting people who knew the consciousness and the levels, and they didn't take acid. When I went to India, my method was psychedelics. When I came back from India, it was inside of me. In going to India, I was looking for somebody that could read the maps of my consciousness. I found Maharaji. He was the map. I met Maharaji in a little temple in the mountains, the Himalayas. I had been traveling with a young Westerner who had been in India for many months. And so he know, knew his way around. So I took him in the Land Rover up the mountains to meet Neem Karoli Baba. Mm -hmm. uh, against his will, he was really uptight, angry, didn't want to go. <laughs> was giving me a hard time, was mad because I was driving. He wanted to drive. <laughs> we stopped on the way about a um, hundred miles from the uh, temple. 
and we s stopped and I, um, I went outside the, from the house and I, uh, the stars, the, like stars, Van Gogh, those stars. And I thought of my mother. She was dead six months. And then I went inside and we went on to the Guru. Ramdas uh, first met Maharaji right here. Maharaji was sitting here with his, all these devotees were here. And he came here with Bhagwan Das. So uh, it is a tradition here just to bow down before a saint. So uh, Bhagwan Das bowed down and pranamed. But Ramdas was a bit hesitating. He's laying on his belly on the, floor, on the ground, um, touching the, f the feet of the guru. And uh, I was Harvard professor. Uh, I wasn't going to go up and touch somebody's feet. He had his hands in his pockets and uh, just watching and... So he said, um, come, come, this. Sit down. Then he said, you were, you were out under the stars thinking of your mother last night, which, which, I mean, a Harvard professor, you know, thinking, knowing, having been in cognitive research and stuff like that, no, but nothing made me ready for that. You were remembering your mother. She died of spleen. And that was the breakthrough. That was the quieting my mind. The quieting my mind. You know, it's like Jesus when he met the woman at the well and told her everything she'd ever done. That's what Maharaji would do. He would tell us everything that we've been doing in the last parts of our lives. <laughs> You're thinking, wow, he knows everything. When Maharaji was near me, I was bathed in love. And because he knew everything about me, that was like I was forgiven. I think prior to that, I had a lot of uh, things in my past. Um, I, I didn't want anybody to know, no. And I always felt that if they knew, they would, they wouldn't love me. He knew, and he loved me. And then he was transformed into Baba Ramdas before my very eyes. He just turned into this love, just started pouring. He just totally opened his heart and got into his heart. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. How do I explain who Maharaji was and how he did what he did? Um, I don't have any explanation. Um, maybe it was his love of God. I can't explain who he was. I can almost begin to understand how he loved everybody. I mean, that was sort of his job. He was a saint. Saints are supposed to love everybody. That's not what has always so staggered me. What staggered me is not that he loved everybody, but that when I was sitting in front of him, I loved everybody. That was the hardest thing for me to understand. How he could so totally transform the spirit of people who were with him and bring out not just the best in us, but something that wasn't even in us, we didn't know. I don't think any of us were ever as good or as pure or as loving in our whole life as we were when we were sitting in front of him. I see him just as a, um, as a doorway towards God, a doorway. His consciousness was so playful with mine, it sucks you in. In India, they have an expression, 
God, Guru, and self are one and the same. He's just like my inner self. The most common word that he ever said was Ram, God's name, and the second most common was Jao, get out of here. Um, and all the Westerners who would come to him uh, attracted like a magnet, he would always say, go away, go away, go away. No, I don't think he wanted anything ever from me or, or from any of us. Um, we tried to give him things. Uh, you couldn't give him money, you, you, could, you couldn't do anything for him. Uh, there was nothing that he needed. All he wanted was for people to be liberated, to be free. One day, um, Maharaji ind indicated that he'd like to um, try LSD. And I, um, I didn't know that that was wise because he was old and I had strong pills. But then he knew everything, so I got pills I had in my bag, and he selected the pills, and um, one pill would have been a, a dose for a person like me. He took all the pills at once. Nothing happened. He didn't have any reaction. I watched, I watched, and I watched. Nothing happened. And what he was saying to me in his manner as the mirror, he was saying, it's in you, it's in you. The, 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 the way we get caught in our method is method drugs, method church, method, you know, method, method, method. Um, that he got me out of my caughtness in my method, in my method. So I honored psychedelics, but I say there's other methods. Maharaji gave me the name Ramdas. Somebody told me that, and I said, is good? And they said, yeah, Ram is God, and Das is servant servant of God. I waited till I was alone with Maharaji and um, I said, how do I get enlightened, Maharaji? And he said, serve people and feed people. I was, here I come from America, and I was, you know, here was the, the guru, serve people, 